Okay, it's been two weeks since I had my brephloplasty surgery, my eyelids lifted, and I wanted to give you kind of a, a rundown on how it went and then give you a reveal as to what the results all looked like. This is a picture that was taken actually in the uh, preparation room and uh, Dr. Sarah Jacobs came in and she pretty much kind of mapped my eyelids to show her where the where she was going to make the incisions to get the results that she wanted. Something I thought was interesting as well is she put her initials above each one of my my eyebrows and I guess that was to make sure that uh, I didn't end up in the wrong operating room. The operation took about 20 minutes. It was painless because I was totally knocked out. I actually had a choice of whether to uh, take anesthesia or just have a local anesthetic and I would have been awake uh, during the process. I chose not to do that um, and I'm glad I did. I felt nothing. In fact, I woke up as um, they were basically finishing up and getting me ready to, to roll out. Um, this is a picture then of what I looked li at like in the recovery room. As you can see, I uh, called it my Rocky picture, where Rocky comes back to the corner and says, cut me, Nick, I can't see a thing. I was pretty swollen up and uh, the stitches were pretty visible and it went, but I, but I came home, uh, I was pretty well knocked out, not so much from the operation, but more from the anesthesia and spent uh, all day Friday in bed Got up Saturday um, and uh, started the procedure, and it basically was, um, I think it was three times a day, I put a bag of frozen peas over my face and, and to bring the swelling down. I found that uh, the, the plastic on my skin was pretty, uh, cold was pretty unbearable, so I just put a paper towel uh, under it, and it, it became very easy to do and very simple uh, procedure. So then the following Wednesday, uh, I actually went back to um, Dr. Jordan and she looked at it and said, okay, now switch from the, the frozen peas to a hot washcloth. And uh, what I ended up doing was wetting a washcloth and putting it in the microwave for about 20 seconds and then for five minutes, uh, putting it on my eyes to, to bring the swelling down. So. That was, um, well, let's see, Friday through Wednesday, and now we're at the second Friday after, and here's basically what they look like. Um, I think I just watched a video that I did uh, on January the 1st about 5G, and it was really kind of shocking to me, particularly this eye, how much, how you couldn't see my eyeballs. Um, and it, granted, it was outside, and there was a little bit of uh, sunlight, but uh, I, my eyes were just down to a, a smither of a crack. And so the only thing I see now, I, I can't see the stitches, um, or they say there's a pink line up there. I guess I can see that. Um, I've still got some swelling here, and I've always had some swelling there, but for that, I'm, I'm doing the washcloth, um, and I, I'll do that for probably another week, and then I think I'm pretty well done with it. As far as effects, um, while I was doing the peas, I was putting a salve up here. Um, the salve would then kind of seep into my, in my eyes, and I had the, the, the feeling that my windshield wipers just couldn't get the smog off my eyeballs. And, and she, um, Dr. Sarah said that was kind of the effect and that was it. Now that I'm not using the salve, um, my eyesight is back to 100%. I do feel some tightness uh, on the edges. Um, and in the mornings when I wake up, my eyes feel kind of grimy and the, the warm washcloth is really very refreshing and, and very wanted. So uh, that's kind of how it's going. Uh, I'm very pleased with it. Uh, my son asked me why I didn't have the underside done as well. Um, it, it, it wasn't important to me. Uh, secondly, it wasn't going to be paid for by, by my insurance. Uh, the whole operation, as I understand it, 
cost about two thousand five hundred dollars. My insurance picked up all but two hundred and fifty, which was my basically my deductible, so or copay, I guess it is. So I'm pleased with it. Um, I think you can see my eyes a lot better, and as I look back on some of the videos I've done, and that and and I, last night I uh, I had to be out on a rainy night in the um, in the dark, and it made driving in the uh, in in the in those circumstances much easier. I felt much safer. Um, I wasn't as int intimidated, if you would, by some of the the headlights that were coming at me. Um, and I, and my, I feel my peripheral vision has improved substantially. So that's the status on my eyelid surgery. Um, I'd recommend it highly. I'd recommend, uh, Dr. Jacobs at, uh, Callahan Clinic. If you're in the Birmingham area, uh, look her up. Uh, you can find a very nice video, uh, that I, I showed in the first video I did, and it's also on on uh, UAB's uh, website. So that's my surgery. It's, I was telling someone in my yoga class today, it's only the second time that I've been cut on. The first time was for a vasectomy and uh, that was uh, a total different situation. So anyway, um, eyelid surgery, won't be talking about it anymore. You watch the eyeballs and you tell me if uh, if it is. And in the comments, if you've had any contrary experience or better experience, um, let's talk about it. So other people, if they're faced with this kind of decision, they can make an informed decision. Thank you.